Now let's take a look at how we can create our own LFP files. I'll use this part here as the source part for my LFP. And what I would like to do is I would like to have this cut extrude called prongs as well as the chamfer that appears a few features later. I would like both of those features to become a cutout in my design library so that I can drag and drop this cutout and chamfer whenever I need them in future designs. In order to create our LFP file, we simply have to select the feature or features that are going to be the actual library feature itself. In my case, I will control select both the prongs and the chamfer features. Next, Next, I will go to my design library and select a location for my features. In my case, I'm going to my design library folder to a location simply called My Stuff. Once I have the folder selected along with the features that I would like to create for my library feature, I use the icon at the top of the tree, or feature manager, or design library, excuse me, called Add to Library. Doing this sets several things in motion. SolidWorks runs a wizard called Add to Library with the two features that I have selected in this area of the properties. The file name that I will be saving to can be changed to whatever I'd like. In my case, I'll call it Cutout Example. The location will be the same location that I had selected on the right side. Notice it is here, although I could certainly navigate to other locations if I wanted to. Notice the extension will be library feature part, SLD LFP, and then you can type in a description if you want to. At this stage, I will simply accept the command add to library and a copy of my part will be saved as an SLD LFP. In my case in particular, we have a file that is not 2009, but that does not mean that I can't use it as a source for my LFP file. Yes, I will still continue and let the cutout example SLD LFP be a 2009 file. Now, when you're working to create LFP files, oftentimes you will be working from a part that may have additional features that really have nothing to do with the library feature you're trying to capture. In my case here, for example, while I want the cutout for the prongs and the chamfer, I do not need the shell or some of the other features that we see in the model. SOLIDWORKS will automatically strip those features out of the copy that we're creating for the LFP if I ask it to. 